Man, what's what's uh, going on with you, brother? What's what's next? See you training here. Um, yeah, yeah. For me, um, May 21st, um, Las Vegas. That's what, that's what I'm preparing for. It'll be at, uh, in the lightweight division, so I'm moving up. But uh, I still have no issue um, getting down to 130. It's just that nothing was available right now at, at 130 pounds, so I'm moving up to one the lightweight. But it's not it's not it's not unfamiliar, unfamiliar territory because I, I started my pro career at lightweight. But like I said, I'm just enjoying my time here with Manny. You know. Um, we're forming, we're forming that chemistry once again, and I, I'm actually motivated and confident of um, you know, bringing in a um, next month. You got a name up? Um, right now, right now, um, I was looking at um, probably fighting Jermaine Ortiz. I know he's had a um, a good, a good, a good war with um, my guy Joseph Adorno, I believe, last year or so. So that, that's that's the that's the one, the name we're looking at, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, obviously, a fight I got to get your take on, man. Uh, Stevenson versus Valdez. Oh yeah. Well, what aspect of Stevenson's game would you say Valdez needs to watch out for the most? Um, I just feel like crazy. I just spoke to Shakur the day before yesterday. I, I hit him up, I see how he was doing, you know, physically and mentally. Um, physically, he looks good. Mentally, he's definitely there and, and well prepared. But um, for Valdez, yeah, I think he'll have to watch out. Um, it's not so much a watch now. He has to be just more of aware of Shakur's timing. Shakur is very good. I mean, you see when we fought, like even me being a bigger and longer man, Shakur is very, very, is very good at distancing and timing. You know, and timing, and he's always like you know he doesn't he doesn't leave too many opportunities open against him. You know what I mean? Like you gotta hurt him react because like Shakur is very good with his eyes. So if he, if he sees that you're, you're you're trying to get at something, he'll quickly react. And that's one thing. That's what like I said, Shakur, um, his mind is probably his best tool. You know what I mean? Like, he has all the physical attributes, but like I said, boxing is 80% mental, 20% physical, and I believe that Shakur is um, more of a mentally prepared fighter. I mean, nothing, nothing, nothing against Valdez. Valdez is a really good champion in his own right. But, um, you know, Shakur is younger, fresher. Valdez has been in, in the wars of also, and, you know, he struggled with boxers, you know. So there's a reason why he wasn't trying to fight too many. You know, boxers, especially sophomores, you know, coming up, especially in the, in the championship run. If you look at it, most of um, his guys he prefers to fight is the ones that that will fight back with him or brawl with him. You see, like the guys like Miguel Bachelet, but when he had fights with um, um, Conciel with a boxer, he had issues there. And, and Shakur is, in my opinion, a, a, a 20 times better boxer than um, Valdez's last fight. So you got you got to those aspects and, and you, you make your own, you know, assessment from there. Right. Yeah, that's a that's a good point. His timing does seem seem. How, how do you defeat timing, especially with a guy with that kind of? Hey, you got well? you got you got to basically throw with him. You know, you gotta you gotta um you gotta, you gotta actually try to throw with score. You, you can't you can't sit there and wait or think you're gonna. Have a you gotta throw with him. In, in between shots, but even then, like I said, he'll pick. He can pick up. So you gotta constantly, you know, play the chess match and, and constantly, you know, go out there and keep press, trying to press the action. But like I said, um, it's still a good fight for boxing as well. Same, same goes with um, you know, um, um, Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano fight that's happening that, that that night. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a lot, a lot of good boxing April 30th. And, um, like I said, so also like I said, shout out to the ladies that's fighting at the, at the Garden. But um, I'm. I'm I'll definitely be there um, in Vegas because I'll be commentating, commentating for the um, Valdez. Um, nice, some easy fight. money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, uh, front row, up close front row seat. But like I said, just good with boxing and uh, made, made the best man win. Yeah, it's going to be a great fight, man. Uh, a week later, Canelo's fighting the ball, 75 again. Ball's a big guy, big right hand. I, but I don't know. Is it just kind of Canelo's time? Listen, just like it, it was Floyd's it, it, at one Canelo, point? It's, it's, Canelo, just... it's Canelo's era. It's Canelo's era, period. Um, nothing against Bebo, but... Um, Canelo, you know, he, he's real calculated, not only in the ring, but how he chooses his opponents as well. You know, there's, there's something that he sees for him to, to take that risk of a fight, especially in a higher weight class. But um, nothing against, again, nothing against people. But Canelo is a guy who, um, if you watch him close enough, the first few rounds, it takes him a while to, to, to really start, you know, calculating what's going on within that fight. And then afterwards, you see when he starts picking up and he starts, he starts picking up your, your rhythm and game, boom, he catches you. Week after, man, the 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 guy here, uh, champ Castaños, Castaño, going um, going after Charles, yeah. Who, who should be more confident going into the rematch? Um, would you say they both should be very confident because they both had a very close fight. So it wasn't like it was kind of it wasn't like a one-sided thing. They both had their moments in there, so they both should be confident. Um, 
I, I know, I know Jamel Charlo is always confident. Um, you know, I've been here, I've been watching Cristiano train, you know, he's, he's been, you know, he's been training like everything's on the line as well. So that, that's very, that's another, that's, that's another, um, a pick em fight as well for me, you know what I mean? I, I'm, I, like I said, I'm cool with, I'm cool with Jamel Charlo. You know, I've become great friends with, um, Cristiano as well since I've been here. But yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely a fight that I'm, that I'm looking forward to seeing. And, um, they both, they both two totally different styles, but they have that, um, that championship mentality within them. Uh, a couple more in your division, man. I want to get your take on uh, Tank versus Roley. Um, Roley, you know, that's talks a, a lot. Person. You know, he's, 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 that's that's more of an entertaining fight for outside the ring. Of course, you you're gonna um, look at Tank as being a more seasoned vet, no matter how how you look at it and put it. But um, Roley, his confidence is on a whole different level. All right? And I hope that's how he feels. Even I hope it's just not an act. You know what I mean? I hope that's how he trains and feels even within the ring. But um, you know, Roley's the Roley's been asking for this fight for, for, for quite some time, and it's one of those things where, you know, it could be, it could turn into, be careful what you watch, ask for, or, you know, like, hey, he, this is what he, he, he called it. This, he, he called it, he felt it, and it was his moment. The week after, man, Cambosa, Devin Haney is going yeah. all the way down under. Uh, man, the, the, I, I see, I hear a lot of people kind of favoring Haney, but the cat's kind of out of the bag with Cambosa. He's sharp, he's fast, he, you know, I mean, comfort. I mean, yeah, Cambosa, I think his last three fights, they've been, like, real razor sharp, like, it's good decision, but, it's, but at the end of the day, wins a win. And, you know, he has what it takes to pull out, you know, those victories at, at, that, at that last, at that last, the final moment. Shout out to my girl Makaya Kreps. You know, that's another another one to look out for. But um, no, nah, like I said, uh, I think I think with Haney, I mean with Cambosis, the thing is, the more you, you, you continue to win and beat those names that people feel like you can't beat, the more motivated you get. I mean, because I've been there even when I when I was a champion, you know, I was fighting guys that people thought I couldn't beat, you know, um the Edos and, and, and the Framptons and the, and, and the Lamont Roaches and those guys, you know. People thought that I was gonna have, you know, I was gonna have my struggles and that, and but it just motivated me. And I feel like Cambos is in the same position. I mean, Devin Haney has all the natural aspects and tools, and you know what I mean? And he has the right mindset. You know, like I said, he's he's the one risking everything going over there as a champion. You know, he didn't have to go, but he wants to be, you know, he wants to be great and going right. So you are you gotta you gotta respect it as well. But yeah, I, I think I think that's a, that's, a, that's a really interesting fight and it's it's, a, it's a, probably a, a, a lot closer than what people are looking at it as. Some people are looking at it as maybe Haney isn't ready or something. Some people are looking at it as Haney is just too much better. So mm -hmm. it's, it's one of those things where I think from um, the boxing aspect of the fight, it's, it's a lot closer than what people are, you know, people are saying. All right. A lot of great fights, man. A lot, a lot of great fights coming up. Right. Can't wait to see yours uh, as well. May 21st. Hopefully we lock down an opponent hey, soon. Yeah, yeah. T tell the fans where they can follow you and, and get the updates. Um, you can find me at, at Jamel Herring on Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook, whatever. You know, yeah, everybody knows me out there. I, I communicate with everybody. But for right now, like I said, I'm, I'm just motivated and happy just to be back in a, in a gym setting doing what I do and um, doing what I do best. But yeah, definitely. Um, Hopefully, we're, you know, with a victory here, bigger things are, are, are surely to come. So we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, look, looking forward to seeing you at 135, man. You got to eat a little bit. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I mean, I mean, now you see now, I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying it, but yeah. Good stuff. Thank you so much. No sir. Problem, Appreciate bro. your time. No problem.